Okay. So, I don't want you to take this down, okay? I want you to follow what I'm doing. I'm giving you three questions uh, here, and I'm going to do one of the questions, and you're going to have to do it, uh, go with doing the second question for homework. Now, you really should get the second question finished in class, so you really shouldn't have any homework, okay? Pardon? This is a double. So I'm saying, that's why, because it's a double, we really should get the second question done. Um, and what I'll do is, I'm going to do the first part of it, building a cash account, and then from there, you're going to go and do the cash account for the second question. And I'll leave the first one available for you. And I'll put it into classwork so you'll have screenshots, you can, you'll know how, what it looks like. So first of all, I'm going to do a cash count. Now, this is where Excel is kind of useful. So we have, uh, when you would have done junior cert, you would have used record book three. So in record book three, if you remember, there were three columns on the left side, three columns on the right side of a single sheet of paper. Ring a bell? So your date, details, and money. Does that ring a bell? Yeah. Date, details, money on the other side. Fantastic. We're going to ignore the dates for now. We're going to have a column here for details. And then we're going to have uh, the euro symbol. Uh, no, where is it? There it is. Okay. And then on the other side of my column, of my account, I'll have details and money. Now, I, I am aware that, you know, obviously summer holidays and stuff is only just finished, so your brain has turned to mush. Uh, so it will take a little bit of time, you know, to kind of get in with the feel of this. So this document that I'm doing here, um, it's called a cash account. So at the top of it, I'm just going to write in cash account. Um, now again, you don't need to be taking this down just yet, but you will be doing this a second. Yeah, Evan? Uh, which call, like, would a normal hardback be the best thing? I think, to be honest, a normal hardback... You draw a line, and actually, why don't I do it now? So I'm just going to draw a line right down through the middle of the page, and that's going to separate the left and right. Okay? Record book three, if you remember from junior cert, you would have had, you know, lots of red lines down the middle of the page. You don't need to worry too much about those red lines most of the time. But just think about, we've got a page that's divided into two halves. We have one side that's the debit side, and one side is the credit side. So, okay? So this cash account is meant to show money coming in and money going out of a business. It's not, and think of the business as being different from the owner of the business. If the owner puts money in, the business has money. Okay, so think about, has the business got richer or has the business got poorer? Okay, so I'll go through this. Uh, we start a business with 10 grand in capital, so that's money coming in. So I'm going to put 10 grand on the plus side over here. And actually I'll just zoom so we can see a little bit better. Okay, and we have to write beside it, why do we have money coming in? Oh, it's because of capital. Okay, so we're just going to put for details one word, one phrase, okay, that's, go that's going to tell us why we got the money. I received money from cash sales. Oh, great, so I got money, so this is the plus side here. This is the minus side, so I've got four, six from cash sales. So I'm just going to call it sales. Uh, I paid for motor expenses. All right, that's me spending money, so I'm going to go over to the other side. Okay, uh, motor expenses is two fifty. Okay, and I bought goods for one six fifty. Okay, bought goods. Right, so uh, I'm not going to call it goods because either some goods I buy, some goods I sell. So I'm going to call it purchases. Purchases when I buy goods, sales when I sell goods. And the amount of money is one six fifty. Um, I received cash sales six hundred, so I got more money. So six hundred goes in here, and we call it sales. Fantastic. And I paid wages, so that's me spending money. So I'll call that wages. And the amount of money is a thousand. Is everyone okay with that so far? Okay. Now remember, you're going to be doing the second one. You're going to be doing Mick. I'm doing Patty. Uh, but just um, those of you who did this before, what do I need to do next? Add them up. You need to add them up and do the balancing thing. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to stop the recording at this stage.